Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This video is going to be for ECHL fans. This is going to be on Charlie Edward Daustis, or Dao. I always mispronounce his name. But either way, he's one of the best two-way defensemen in the entire e ECHL. Uh, CED is Edward Daustis. As, um, he's great on both ends, as he rightfully so deserves to win the def ECHL Defenseman of the Year, which is determined by a vote of ECHL coaches, broadcasters, and media relations directors and media members the man literally went ballistic this year has been very good in his entire career and had a good 46 game stretch with the walleye in 2020 but this season was by far a career year also at 87 penalty minutes he will not take um he will literally take on anyone i should say and is a guy that will stick up for his teammates as well great guy to have obviously not just for a regular season but for a postseason as well, he's going to be a valuable guy to have, assuming the Utah Grizzlies keep him going forward because his great play of having being above a points per game guy, 57 points in 56 games while still being a plus 21 and very good in the defensive end, a round and pounder that knocks guys off of the puck and is good on the puck at boxing guys out in the offensive zone, good on the pass, good on the shot. 26 goals is ridiculous for a defenseman and 31 apples as well to get the 57 points while also being very disastrous to the other team, uh, not disastrous to himself, disastrous and a menace to the other team in the defensive zone. That's a rare commodity to have. And Charlie Edward Dao or Dallas, as some of you uh, want to pronounce his last name, he um, has been absolutely phenomenal this season, and he deserves hands down the CHL defenseman of the year. And he also deserves one of the most improved players of the year because, yes, he was very good with the walleye. But he was more of that round and pounder, solid overall defense. And with the Wildlife this year, he just burst out like a bat out of hell and was great offensively. And wasn't just a solid overall well-rounded defenseman. He was a fantastic elite ECHL level well-rounded defenseman. And obviously those are the guys that get the awards. So he clearly deserved the ECHL defenseman of the year. Plays a great well-rounded game, great defensive game, while being a bombastic offensive player that also now got recognized by the Colorado Eagles as well. That's why I say if the Utah Grizzlies are able to keep him because, of course, he did get games excuse me, with the Colorado Eagles as well. And if they want to end up keeping him, you obviously won't be able to blame the ECHL affiliate of the... Um, of the, uh, what's it called there, Colorado Avalanche, obviously, because he played very good for them in a handful of games as well. And the Colorado Avalanche's ECHL video, Utah Grizzlies, would then have done exactly what their job is. Since obviously you want to keep Dallas or CED, we'll call him, uh, if you're a Grizz fan, but you're not always able to do that because it's in the development league first and foremost. And obviously, I think fans ultimately also want to see guys succeed and continue to grow their careers. And I think CED definitely has a good chance to do that, all deserving of the Defenseman of the Year Award. Plays great on both ends. One of the most fun guys to watch in the entire league via Flow Sports. Definitely check out Flow Sports to watch ECHL action for sure. If you did not this season, for next season, for damn sure. But CED, great season. Definitely deserves ECHL Defenseman of the Year. This has been the quickest... Uh, not the quickest, a quick ECHL video of the Pond Key Tate. If you talk about the ECHL defenseman of the year, Charlie Edward Deu or Daustus, as he was a great two-way defenseman, really a bombastic breakout season for him, very deserving of the ECHL defenseman of the year. So hats off to him, and hats off to the Utah Grizzlies for having the bombastic talent of CED. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below. Or above on the Easy Dues widget to keep the channel growing to 250 or more to meet our goal by the beginning of June. Thank you, everybody, and enjoy the Kelly Cup playoffs. Peace out.